Wake up, sleepyhead. So, um, so far we've been playing, I mean, we've been playing so far. <laughs> Calm down. So far, we've only been, well, we haven't actually done, done much. We're basically just getting to know the characters a little bit. And, um, yeah, something freaky is happening. We don't really know yet what, but, uh, yeah, let's continue this game. It's so cute so far. I really love it. <laughs> uh, also, don't forget to comment, and like, subscribe and all that stuff. It's really nice. I love it when you do that. And yeah, let's go. I also like that I can play this game with the controller because it's really nice. Wake up, sleep bed. It's lunchtime. Don't you want to play air piano again? Ugh. Finally. So he just took a big hacking nappy. A plant in the background looks like it's dying. Rise and shine. Just how much sleep did you get? One measly hour. Make it two. It's a good thing you got lucky today, Jinjin. What? You slept through three classes in a row. You know, just like Jinjin over there. Yeah, why is he always sleeping? I did what? Why didn't one, anyone wake me up? Well... We tried, but it was no use. <laughs> you were in a deep sleep. And we can, couldn't get the sleeping beauty up. Oh my god. And no one wanted to kiss you. So, yeah. What did the teacher say? They didn't want to kiss you either. <laughs> Stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I kissing my great goodbye? That's where you got lucky, man. They didn't give a damn. At least for now. What a relief. I swear, just one more more warning from Mr. Alfonso, and I'm out of here. He was in a surprisingly good mood, and they say he got his oh, they say he got his ex-girlfriend back. Oh my god, good for him. What about Mrs. Flores? What are you talking about? Art's off to lunch break. Hey, speaking of, what did you paint? Oh my god, no. Uh, paint what? You know, for our poster project. Oh no. Oh my god. Shit. I know, it's so cliche. Man, I did all <laughs> did it all on my own. And I'm so proud of it. What do you think? I think I think I'm in trouble. There's no way. Cramming this is flat out impossible. I have to or I'm getting kicked out for real. Say, how many minutes do I have left? <laughs> 7 minutes. Are you crazy? Always have been. <laughs> I know you cram, but is this just insanity? Hey! Seven minutes. Just gotta dash my way to the supply stores. I can do this. Set you. Mm. I don't think so, dude. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit! What the hell, bro? This way to get you through. This is a quick time event. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, uh, uh. Do I just have to click X all the time? Damn, it's not a tree over. Gotta make my way. I'm going to paint something so avant garde and pretentious. It lock floor socks off. Again, you have seven minutes. Uh, uh, oh! Shit. I hate life. You know what? Aha, I got it. I just splash paint around. And just like that, I'm the next Pollock. Oh, 
Oh! <gasps> Come back, Edwards. I'm sorry. Sorry, luck, baby. This is horrible. Almost there. Uh oh. What are you doing out here? Ah. Uh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Out of all the numbers from 0 to 50, I got a, I got a score of 13. Oh no. Could I have not... Oh god. I don't know, could I have saved that somehow? I... To say get any worse. Hey, Mark. Hey, hey. Billy, my guy. W what's up? What's the last minute rush today? Need anything? Marker pen? Painting? Xerox? I did need something. But I don't think... I don't think I'm in a good shape to cram now. That girl is in a good shape as well, it seems. Uh, uh-oh. Could I have, ha could, could I have, that have been different? Like... Oh, shit. Ah! Or arg, I don't know. You. You monster! I don't need your hand. I have two, and I can stand on my own, okay? Alright. Hey, I... Uh... What? What's your deal? Sorry. But I didn't mean to... They didn't mean to ruin someone's first day in this school? Okay, sure. Thanks, I guess. To be fair, you were blocking the halls. Right in the middle. Wow. So we're just totally ignoring the fact that someone was ruthlessly barreling through the halls. I know. But sorry, you, you're in the wrong too. I lost my consciousness for a moment there. You almost killed me for Pete's sake. Hey, I'm... <gasps> Look at this mess. Look at me. I'm a mess. This is... I was so excited to... To start a brand new life here. And you're just gonna... Gonna mess it up like that? What am I supposed to do? Whatever. I never want to see your face again. Great. Both of you. Principal's office. Now. Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. What are we gonna do? Hey, she got all the paint off. What a weird office. Fortunately, we have extra uniform. Oh. Extra uniforms for students. You ought to return them next week. You understand? Do you two realize the consequence of your misbehavior? Let this day teach you a well-deserved lesson. Scary. You will stay here until dismissal. I've called for the principal. She'll be here in a few hours. Wait a second. I have seen... Have I seen your face before? Uh, me? Yes. I've already met. I have no idea. Well, I have no idea what you mean, Mrs. Legaspi. I knew it. Just how many warnings do you have left before you get expelled? I don't know. I'm invincible? 
Hey, uh... Candy? You want one? Mint? Fruit? What was I thinking? Candy won't be enough to tame the beast. There's gotta be something in here. What, what, what do you mean? Let's give her a tasty... A taste of fancy... Sh schmancy coffee. Oh. That'll lift her spirit up. Hi, welcome to Starbunks. What can I get for ya? You know. We got a coffee maker with a grinder here. Top of the line gear. We got Arabic beans too, or whatever. Cream of the crop. You won't find this anywhere else. It's Arabic... Uh, Arabica, you jerk. Hey. Now we're talking. So you want a cup of Arabica? This is the best coffee you'll ever have, I promise. My hipster friend would have killed for this. I'll take that as a yes. He knows how to work it? He's, maybe he's here that often, I don't know. It smells so good, doesn't it? Nearly done. I know you can't wait. One cup for you, and one cup for me. Mm-hmm. Never disappoints. Don't let that specialty go to waste. You don't always get a chance to taste overpriced something. I, don't, I didn't read overpriced coffee. <laughs> but <laughs> that's where it all goes. Come on, before it gets cold. Maybe she'd rather have iced coffee. Hmm. She's so angry. Whoa, this one's new. I haven't seen this before. Would you look at this bad boy? Hmm. <laughs> hey, look! It's not severing my arm! Just amazing what overpriced tuition can buy. Apparently, bladeless fans are unexciting. It all went downhill from there. Watch this. Useless but fun fact. Our lavish principles has three cars. Oh my god, a pickup, a sedan, and an SUV. What you just heard was the SUV. I love it. It has, it has the best beep. <laughs> Not interesting enough for her. Ding dong, ding dong, shan. Okay, sure. Bruno, Bruno, Ro John, Travis. Cool. I wouldn't be surprised if Jinjin takes the good gold medal home too. What the hell is this place? Uh, okay. Nothing. Sit down. Oh. Greetings, my fellow Liamsonians. I just want to announce that. You can never get rid of me. I keep this school running with my pockets as deep as the Mar Marians. No matter how many times you detain, warn or punish me, you won't ever have the balls to let me go. I may not be a genius or a, dream or a dreamer, but I've got uh, epic bangs. <laughs> That's all for my beloved school. Thank you for your attention. Too bad security cameras don't record audio. What an audience. I'd at least appreciate a round of applause here. I 
I've tried everything now. Forget it. It's this is useless. Give up. Nah, let's see. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. It's all looking uh, hopeless. Maybe let's just let's just leave her alone. I give up. I did all I could possibly do. Nothing could make you speak. Okay. Besides stupid Arabic beans. It's okay. I mean, you don't deserve it, so. 2,995. 2,997. 2,997. 2,000. Oh, wow. Would you look at the time? It appears we have three more exciting hours left. Imprisoned here with nothing to do. Except, you know, socialize like humans do. If we could just all cooperate. Cooperate. Co cooperate. You do not deserve my cooperation. Finally. Thank God. But after all I've done to cheer you up, Oh, I'm sorry. After what you have done? Either way, try harder. But I'm sure you'd, you'd die trying. You haven't even taken a sip of my coffee yet. That'd surely calm your nerves, miss. Mister, you're dodging the real the real issue here. You're just wasting my time. I told you. You were literally taking up half the width of the hallway. Even worse, right in the middle. And you were running. Read the handbook section 7.4. I'm surprised a novice like me knows more than a, su a supposed veteran. Whoa. Look who's so gung-ho about transferring. She knows the handbook like the back of her hand. Why, thank you. That's what the back of the hand, my hand is for. The front is for, you know, dealing with you, just in case. If I did it, if you didn't know, normal people would do their business at the side. To make ways for others. But I guess some people simply aren't part of that population. Sir, have you ever heard of speed limits? I think someone here could take- why is the music so- this is super uncomfortable. I think someone here could take a page from the traffic etiquette. Uh, Getting this show on the road, huh? Well... Ever heard of a middle lane hogging? Go ahead. Take a page. Oh my. Get this show on the road? Did you just use an item? <laughs> Literally? How cheesy. Actually, that was a double and 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 trend. What? I used the item both literally and as intended. Too bad my in ingenuity went over your head. Uh, these are words I don't usually read. I, English is not my first language. I'm sorry. I wish ingenuity were an and <sighs> were. An atom atom ah for genius right now. Running out of fuel. Cause that was lame. Admit it. Your car has crashed. Is it my fault your car crashed into mine? Flat tire. Huh? What's that even supposed to mean? I said, you're a flat tire. What? Oh, you monster! You really want to get it, do, do you? I'd be... Flattered? You dirty sicko. What? 
the hell? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Good afternoon, uh, Mrs. Chavez. G'day, Mrs. Chavez. Looking fast today. How are we doing? Of course, it's you again. Although it's it's the first time you brought someone with you. I I sincerely apologize for the trouble. I hope we can resolve this as soon as possible. Whatever. I'm in a hurry. Come on, follow me. Okay, let's begin. Mrs. Legaspi has told me everything. I have to say, what you have committed uh, is one serious offense, okay? Serious indeed. But it's his fault. Hold your horses, miss. You'll get a chance to speak up later. Understood. I'm sorry. Flat tire. Come again? Your sedan. I think it has a flat tire. How do you know? I just saw it earlier. And? There it was. A flat tire. So flat, you wouldn't be able to drive it. That sounds horrible. I have to get that fixed. Absolutely. That's it. Miss? Where are your manners? It's his fault. All his. He was blazing through the hallway without a care in the world. Mister, no running in the halls. We made that clear in the handbook, didn't we? <laughs> you guys did make it clear. Props to you for that. Four thumbs up. <laughs> Four thumbs up. But little Missy here was blocking the middle of the hallway. Oh, miss. I'm sorry, but you can't do that. You should have known... You should have known to give way, right? No, but look. Isn't it clear who should be held accountable? Clear as day. If you weren't running in the first place, none of this would have happened. Same outcome if you weren't blocking the hallway. Plus, you wouldn't have an uh, annoyed a bunch of your schoolmates. Pretty sure you annoyed a bunch of them along the way too. You just don't want to admit it. Silence! I've had enough of you two. I'm calling your parents now. No, please! I just transferred here. They'd be so... No! Please don't. Don't look at me like that, Mark. You surprise me. M Mark? Well then. If you don't want me to call your parents, for the love of, of everything good and holy, just make up with each other. What? How? Figure it out, or I'll call your parents now. I've got a mall-wide uh, sale to catch. To <laughs> I have got a mall-wide sale to catch, so make it quick. Okay. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll cover everything. I'll pay for the repainting of the walls and the flooring. That's good. I'll get you a cool gift, too. Because I love this school, and I love you. You don't have to, but okay. And lastly, uh, I'll help redo her poster. I can pay for her art supplies. Help her redo the poster. I'll help little Missy here redo her art poster. Which I, I obliterated to bits. That sounds like a good plan then. It covers everything we'd otherwise worry about. My pleasure. But Mark, I've been hearing about your grades. Remember, you can't make up for that in any way. You have to study harder if you want to stay here. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna miss you guys if I leave. So, miss, how does Mark's plan sound to you? Um... I can take it, I guess. Alright. You two uh, may go home now. Wait, what about the schoolwork due today? Turn them in next week. Your teachers will understand. Awesome. More time to do that stupid art project. Uh, I guess. Okay, this is my final warning. Mark, please don't run in the halls. Miss, please don't block them. Do you two understand? Understood, Mrs. Chavez. 
It won't happen again. Yeppers. Meeting adjourned. Be safe on the way home. Nice. So, uh, that happened. You got away with it just like that? Just like that. Cool, eh? For the record, since you still ruined my first day, I'm totally not forgiving you. Cool. Not yet, that is. They never bothered to ask you your name, so what is it? As much as I hate to introduce myself to you, I'm Nicole Lak oh, Shills. Laksaman Laksamana. Uh Oh you can call me Nicole. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you, Nicole. Disgusted to meet you, Mark. Okay. <laughs> So, what are we gonna do? Weird. That whole section was weird. I could have used a little help back there. You carried- you carried all of that, Mark? For me? Ah, uh, You forced me to. Oh, you, you're such a gentleman. Not a lot of gentlemen these days, you know? You didn't even stop. Uh, you, uh, why did you even shop this much? I thought we were just gonna buy art supplies. Like, do you really need a new toothbrush holder? Uh huh. We buy one every week. The house ghost keeps stealing it. And all these plastic hooks and clothes pins. Pins? Yes. I collect clothes pins as a hobby. There's a sub <laughs> sub get it for that. And all these skirts and shirts? Really? Have you been wearing the same set of clothes every day? Yeah, absolutely not. I'm not as filthy as you. And seriously, a knife set? I'm gonna need more than one knife if you are if you misbehave. Let's just get this over with. What's taking you so long to open that door? You're nagging. Welcome to to our humble abode. Our new humble abode. So that's why. We just moved in a few days ago. Still need work, I know. Uh, so is no one else home? Ah, you wish. My parents are sleeping in the back. So you better keep it down. And your siblings? Well, I wish I had one. It's a hassle-free life, I'd say. No trouble, no drama, no petty arguing. Where's the fun in that? Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get changed. Stay right here and don't touch anything. Ah. Do touch everything. Got it. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Hey, can I use the bathroom? Whatever happened to keeping it down? I was just asking. Look at the light, it's so cool. Here we go. Oh, cool. Nurse will be like, center of ass or whatever. But really, this is magic to my eyes. Did you check out anything back here? Oh, it's a bye bye. Hmm. Oh man. Of course, the staple of every home, good old pirate pirate DVDs. Let's see what fix they've got. Micromite. <laughs> A dumb supervillain inevitably defeats his enemy with his inherently deplorable IQ. Bratata. Oh my god. 
rat, professional rat chef gives up his culinary ways and commits to a savage gangster life of robbery and gang wars. Sardiant Benny? A gay soldier fights terrorists with a fart gun. <laughs> but people are gonna watch this movie anyway. <laughs> boom boom pack. What is that? Four. Fourteen. The final amazing pow. Starring 36 local artists all mashed up into one star-studded film. Oh my god, that's it. I do don't ask about the plot. There is none. Ugh. Damn, it pops my eyes. They just never keep their porn stars somewhere safe, do they? Don't, don't they? Wait. I'm afraid we didn't hire a housemaid. Oh, hey! Oh my. Do we have a scaredy cat here? Don't tell me you wouldn't jump too. If someone just appeared out of thin air. I would, but... Your face would just make me burst out laughing. Anyway, we're painting here, right? Of course. You think we're doing this in my room? Don't get any funny ideas. Oh, I'm not that low. The only funny idea I'm having is painting circles on your face. Ah, uh, well, we're going in circles. Let's just start, shall we? I kind of want to put the knife set beside me. You know, for self-defense. Do you mind? If I can take half of the knives to protect myself as well. Then not at all. Good. Let's begin then. How about you go first? That's inefficient, don't you think? How about we just paint together? I want to see your potential. Impress me. Egg, maybe you'd even inspire me. All I'm hearing is... I want to brush you around, coated in sugar. <laughs> Not really. Not really, I mean. Uh, let's see what you got. Uh, sure. Prepare to be amazed. This is a master at work. Oh no. Uh, maybe with the mouse instead. Yeah. 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 Go. 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 We're doing black lines, really. Uh, what are you doing? Painting? In black? What's wrong about that? But the theme's Mother Earth. I know. Climate change, environment, or whatever. So why does it look like you're painting nonsense? Hey, what's your words? This is avant-garde that it's be. And if you know our teacher well, she gets off on weird art. Exploiting her pretentious taste with pretentiousness. Hmm, I see. I had that... Uh, I had that epiphany back when I was running my ass off in the halls. I never thought to ask. Why were you running in the first place? I had about seven minutes to cram this shit. I rushed to the store, but there you were. Majestically blocking the way. Say what? Seven minutes? That shouldn't come as a surprise from me. Oh, that's right. We just met. It wasn't your first time at the principal's office, was it? Oh, it was. I just happened to flawlessly operate the coffee maker by accident. Lucky me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Crazy. You weren't fearing for your life one bit. I was scared to death. Why would I? If they wanted to get rid of me, they would have. Oh, oh no. Doing the mouse again. Hmm? 
I... I don't get it. Ah, yes. A brilliant representation of oil spills destroying our lovely oceans. I can already see Flora's eyes sparkling. Hold on. I don't get it. Why do you live like this? Why? Shut up. I need to concentrate. I'm channeling my inner Pollock. I mean, are there even any upsides? Ask our classmate, classmate Kyle. He crams way more than I do. He's a true expert. You know what? I suggest... Uh, I suggest that could definitely use more effort. I suggest not spending my precious effort on this. Could also use more color. You know what I mean? I have no time for your color theory bullcrap. You don't need to know color theory. You just have to, you know, let it shine. We didn't buy glossy paint. <laughs> I mean, are you seriously okay with this? Settling for this Pollock ripoff? Look, all I need to do is to get the job done. With at least possible with the least possible effort. But do you even find enjoyment in it? Of course not. Um, not that it matters, right? Hey! Watch. I'll show you how it's done. Oh, great. Someone's doing the dirty work for me. Thank you so much. Hey, look at me. Fine, fine. We can still turn this pitiful artwork to a lively one. Just you wait and see. Hooray. I think it needs more color. Okay. A dash of white. A splash of red. A drop of blue. Do you see it? It's coming together now. Whoa. It's much better now, right? I don't like saying this to your face, but it is. You see, Mark, I just enjoy the things I I just enjoy the things I do. And whenever I whenever I find that enjoyment, everything else naturally shines. She's probably right. Everything shines. You just have to find that spark. You're crazy. I like to think I am. Hmm? Getting there. Uh, are you done? Just a little bit more. Hey, that's enough. You've already helped. All done. <laughs> so, what do you think? <laughs> Why the long face now? Don't get me wrong, it's nice and all, but I really wanted to illustrate climate change. That kind of, sounds kind of bleak, doesn't it? I don't know. I guess it's realistic and down to earth. Really? Hey, that's mine. Plus, my work shouldn't look that good. Loris knows that. Then just switch it up. She won't catch on. Even if I do, it doesn't feel like it's mine. Sprinkle your personality f uh, finesse then. Add your own touch. That's not gonna work. Wait a minute. I know what is missing. There's nothing missing. I'll make the stars bigger. Maybe even cuter. Go ahead. It's yours after all. To be clear, this is yours and, and that's mine. What? Just give me a moment to perfect this. Better now. Look. Awesome. It deserves to be yours. No, you deserve this. Hold on, I'll give it more stars. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay.
Yeah. Here it I I mean here it e here it e <laughs> You're right. This is mine. I'll mention it. And don't worry. I will need half of the knives. I wish I could stab you. That'd be an honor. I wonder... What's living here like? Brace yourself. Everything unique here at... Everything's unique here at Liamson. They've got exotic tentacles for Christmas. What? <laughs> Wrestling mechas for New Year's. Quite a cultural shocker. I wish that were the case, but I was asking nicely. Same old, same old. You're still in the dreary heart of the capita. Do you have siblings? We're both only children. And you think it's hassle it's hassle free? Did I stutter? And your parents? What do they do for a living? Unlike yours, neither of them are talk show hosts. What if I told you I want to be one someday? And drown people in your hollow questions? Good luck. So what do they do for a living? Since you won't shut up. What if I told you I live all alone? What? It's true. Both of them work abroad. Pays good. Oh. Too good they don't want to stop working. What do you mean? That's sick. Pollock, look at this. You must be so proud of me right now. I get that they're both overseas workers, but what do they do? Boy, would you look at that? The sun's setting. Guess I should be going now. Is your dad like an engineer or something? He repairs giant wrestling mechas, you you annoying talk show host. Hey, where's the bathroom? Sadly, a wrestling mecha ripped it apart yesterday. You'll have to pee outside. I'll try my luck then. Try not getting sucked in, snob. Or snoob. I don't know. Snoob. How far can we go? I guess there. Huh? Oh, that sound. Whoa. Does anyone in their family play? Beethoven? Moonlight Sonata? Debussy? Am I supposed to find something? Can I open them or... This place here? Can I... No? Can't believe it. Wait, what? star oh shit wait young star 09 those trophies are hers okay but I accidentally walked into a room I think I she's a pianist Boy, since when? Hmm. Excuse me? What are you doing here? I didn't know you could play. Shut up and get out of here. Now. You see, I've been trying my best at this. But it just isn't working. Maybe you could be my mentor. Who knows? We might make a great team. I'm not even kidding. 
I don't care and I'm not kidding either. Get the hell out of here now. Oh shit. Did it just strike a nerve? Yeah, it's like a family member died or something. But hey, no ifs, no buts. Just get out. I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... Get out of this house at once. Okay. Bitch. Just when I thought you were a decent guy. Well, what do you mean? We just walked into... You were trespassing personal spaces. <sighs> you didn't want to tell me what the freaking bathroom was. And I had to guess. And I walked in. And it looked interesting. And I started playing. And then you're acting like that. You're a decent guy. Stop. Who told you you could just go anywhere you like? Well... I... I'm sorry. You know what? I don't want anything to do with you. Please, just go ahead and leave. Alright. I said... Go ahead and leave. She's really overreacting. Honey, you woke us up. What's going on here? Nothing, mom. I was just a... A rat. A big one. Had to shoot that nasty critter away. Hi, Mrs. L Luxamana. How was first day at school? It must have been wonderful. Seeing that you already got yourself a friend here. Well, uh... He's not my friend. It's a bit complicated, actually. He's more like a... Transferee advisor of sorts. Transferee advisor? Never heard of that before. Is that a thing now? Apparently. They usually wear a shiny badge, but it seems like he forgot to put his on. What? Um. <laughs> Is that correct, Miss My Advisor? Ah, oh, she's right, Mrs. Luxamana. I'm a student rep who guides new students. Glad to meet you. See? Told you. Not a friend. <laughs> I don't see the difference, honey. I can't see why you two won't be good friends. Uh, I guess. I think so too. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> see, hun? And he's a looker too. Uh... Anyway, my advice just gotta go home, right, my noble advisor? Yeah, I just came here to uh, help her with a project and give her some uh, epic school tips. What? Oh, sorry, are you in a hurry, dear? Strict parents? Yeah, he's so in a hurry. He told me he has to... I don't think so. Not much to do back at home, really. Great! Say, would you care to join us for dinner tonight? <laughs> Cook Nicole's favorite, a pork sizzling. What is that? I bet you'll love it. Um. Oh dear, where's my manners? What's your name? His name is Mark. Just so you know, he has a pork allergy. So, Mark, care to join us for dinner? Um. Sure, I wouldn't want to impose. No, let's do it. Chaos, let's go. Why not? I love Sissig. All right. Sorry for the mess, Mark. We just moved in, but please make yourself at home. Thank you, Mom. I mean, Mrs. Laksamana. <laughs> Sorry. You could say that I'm... You could say I'm your mother for the night. Really? That's the thing? Is that okay? Great. I'll be in the kitchen if anyone needs me. How's the table... How the tables have turned. Honey, would you please make our guests feel comfortable? Ah, you bet. I sure will. Thanks, hon. Hey, if they just moved uh, here, why would they have a room like that? That makes no sense. Hey, sis, shut up. But 
That's so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can be cranky. I don't care. Oh, no. What's up? Oh, hey Nicole, what's up? Uh, how was your stay at the principal's dungeon? Yeah, nothing new. What, why did they really write, hey Nicole, what's up? Except for the fact that I was with some troublesome girl. Troublesome? Yeah, that was named Nicole and you just said Nicole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you started the trouble, Airhead. She kind of gets under my skin, too. Hmm? So, what she's like? What What's she like? You think she she belongs with me? Hmm, actually, no. Not a chance. She attacks with sharp words, too. Keep out unless you want your dignity robbed. Oh no, not again. But since, since you've already made the first move anyway, go ahead, I don't care now. As if I can even call it a move. Think about it, man. You crashed into her so bad. Do you have an inkling of what that means? Newton's third law? No, you sham nerd. There uh, was a love cupid at work locking your destiny into place. The moment you ran into her, boom, your heart magically entwined. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. I know, right? My boy finally experienced the joys of young love. Young love, my ass. She was still mad at me the moment I left. <laughs> what? What do you mean you left? From where? Where did our art project at little Mrs. home? Oh. My. God. <laughs> did you just get a girlfriend and climb up the ladder in all in one day? I don't know what you mean by climbing up the ladder, but nah. Like hell we'd get along. Damn it. I was just about to have your congratulatory poster printed. Well, I guess I'll wait some more. What? This should should have been a surprise, but uh, who cares? <laughs> Congratulations, Mark, for embar <laughs> embarking on a new journey in your pubescent love life, maybe? Oh, no. What the? What a, does it look like I died? What the heck did this? You're silly. You sure have a lot of times on your hands, huh? What's the fun? What's the fun in having lots of time if I can't spend it with Kate? Ugh, she could been. She could have been the one. Is it because I'm a flat tire? What, honey? Hmm. I don't... What? I doubt it. It's not like you're boring, right? Ugh. What? Wait. Did we already tell them the entire story? I don't know. What? What? Oh, man. Did you really think that's what it means? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, like a bland person. What the... Are you... Right? Ah, 
Ah, it actually means... Forget it. Gotta go sleep now. What does it mean? Flat chested or... Uh, okay. Hey. Yeah? Yeah? I'm kind of surprised you started the converse combo this time. We're saying that... Lol, anyway. Don't you dare forget about our trip, okay? <laughs> what trip? Ah, the one I've been pushing you and Riddle for. Alright, oh, the trip at the fair. You, yeah, you airhead. Just so we can get have some fun before, you know, before Riddle leaves for shooting. What happens if I don't go? I'm not asking for your confirmation. I am co co coercing you, my lowly subordinate. Okay, okay, I'll go. Good boy. See you then, good night. Hey, Mark. Hey, I'm so sorry for the ruckus back there. Ah, that's none of my concern. But I know you can do better. You deserve adequate sleep as well. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, Mrs. Flores asked me to inform you that you may submit your work on Monday. Yep, Mrs. Chavez told me. Thanks. Also, Sophia told me she wants you to come over with uh, me um, with me at the hospital, only if you're free, of course. Or be visiting her grandma. Yes. I'm certain she almost, she mostly wants new com she mostly wants new company. She must be getting sick of mine, haha. I doubt that, haha, but sure. I'd be happy to come over. All right then. She'd be glad to see you there too. Hey, I'm always <laughs> yes. Any new findings on the you know? I do. And actually, I was hoping we'd talk about it private once we meet. Gotcha. I'll come over then. Okay then. See ya. Yeah, but like now? What? Now? It's a Friday night for crying out loud. Stupid phone games aren't cutting it. What should I do? Good idea. Before those tiny little worms take over again. Tiny little worms are you... Just clean up after yourself. Oh, there's the umbrella. <laughs> Dad sent me this a year after they started working abroad. He joked they'd finally come home once I finished this. Not funny. Oh, I don't think he was kidding. What is this? Gotta head out and pay this tomorrow. Very exciting. Yeah, it's, it's life, you know. What is this envelope doing here? Oh, I remember now. Riddle got an instant camera as a birthday gift. It came, became our little toy at the mall for a day. He didn't like it at first, but look where he's at now. Can we look at them or...? Hi. <laughs> this is chaos. <laughs> Until then, look happy. 
How did this thing even get here? Kathy gave this for my 13th birthday. Like, come on, Kath. You know I won't be listening to Norman music. Seriously? Sleeping already on a Friday? Alright, I guess we're watching TV. Sure, why not? Let's watch local TV, just like everyone else with internet totally does. I mean, yeah, it's nice. Okay, it's almost midnight indeed. Coming up tomorrow on... The two mistresses and possibly one more as a cheap plot twist. <laughs> no, Marty's. He's mine. He's always been mine. How dare you? You only love him because he's a walking money bag. You want war? I'll give you war. <laughs> Welcome to your favorite late night, uh, late night show. Tonight starring Boy Profusio. As you may have heard, today is a very special day, known as the Rising Star from Siargo. Please welcome Paolo Kiriapat! Thank you so much for having me here! I mean, thank you so much for having me here, Mario Professor! I'm so glad to have you here, Paolo. So tell me, Paolo. And you know, this is what the audience wants to finally hear. What do your parents do for a living? Get lost. Hey, come back here. What? Where'd he go? I don't know, sir. Damn it, we lost him. This is Alta Broadcasting Network Channel 7. Now signing off. I don't think I'll resort to TV ever again. Better try something else. Let's see, what do we have here? Just a bunch of games on sale I impulsively bought. Yeah. <laughs> but never bothered to touch, yeah. Oh my god. Can I not jump on them? Okay. Um No! I'm gonna go again. Really? Can I not jump up there? Oh. Game over! <laughs> Into the trash folder you go. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one looks cute. Oh no, this, uh, what is it called, this blah blah club something. Welcome to the club. It's nice meeting you. I love sucking lemons, okay? Seriously? You brought a boy way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, you must be I love, suck I love sucking lemons. <laughs> what a nice surprise. Welcome to Kokoro Literature Club. There are no words. This club is full of... Incredibly cute girls! It seems fun, I can take this. <laughs> if I had to choose now, I'd probably date Ea. <laughs> so already making choices, that's good. Oh shit! Oh my god, this is it, I'm out of here! What? What, what was that? Oh! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. I just gotta win a couple of matches and I'll level up again. That'll get me going for sure. Maybe go sleep. Yeah. You should go sleep. Oh man. Forget it. Hmm. 
Maybe talking to random strangers will work. Oh man, this is so sad. Not chatting with a random stranger. Hello. ASL? I don't know what that means. What? Ugh. Age sex location. 15M redacted. Yeah. Hmm? Fucking weird. What the? Yeah. Really? Well, you know what they're after. How the hell am I getting rejected? What do you think? Don't. <sighs> yeah. Don't. This is when honesty falls over. I know, but I don't want to. Hey there. Uh, aren't you gonna ask ASL? Doesn't matter, it shouldn't. Why, does it matter to you? No, no, it's my first time here and it seems like the norm. Yeah, for the horny guys, yeah. It is the norm, figures. I just want a genuine talk with a real person, you know. Sure, I'm up for that. Got nothing else to do anyway. Awesome. Do you mind listening to my monologue? It won't be long, well, probably. I just want to vent my feelings out there. Here. Yeah, not at all, go ahead. I don't have much friends to talk to. And even if I do talk to them, I can't help but feel guilty draining them with my personal shit. Oh, dude. Oh, that one hit hard. Mm. That sucks. Yeah, feeling in the way. Like, shouldn't take their time. It's comforting to know random people can listen to my problems, and really, that's all you have to do. Listen. I'm all ears. You see, I've always been dreaming of, accom of accomplishing this one thing in my life. And a year ago, after uh, persevering through it all, I did it. I finally did it. That sounds great. So I thought that was it. I achieved my life goal. I thought I was going to be happy and complete. But after several months, I realized I was wrong. What happened? Call me crazy or whatever, but nothing happened. It was just time that kept pushing through. And I just woke up one day without any drive. Go on. It's weird, I don't know why. They told me I should be setting higher goals. But I just can't do that. I do it now that, you know... Sorry, I kind of don't understand. It's okay. Maybe there's no understanding to be sought in, this, in feeling lost. Maybe I just happen to float in the futile void. I don't know, you might be... maybe. So now I'm stuck nowhere. And I don't know where to go. Say, have you ever felt like this? I might be, yes, honestly, I don't know. If not, then good for you. Don't take it for granted. It's okay if you don't understand me. I'm just glad you listened. Have you ever tried finding a hobby? Yeah, I have, a long time ago. And then it became my job, lol. No, I mean a new one. I tried things here and there, but... Something invisible kept uh, keeps stopping me from enjoying anything. I mean... Yeah. You should really talk to a therapist if you feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> Have you tried therapy? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. 
Oh. No. I wasn't even kidding. Ugh. No, stop. I didn't... I didn't even get to choose. Smiths? The Smiths what? It's like Sims or something. My bad. That's it. I give up. People are boring. Looks like I tried everything. Nothing catches my attention today for sure. For some reason. Not even games for God's sake. I have no idea. Whatever, I should just sleep this off. You should work with your hands. When I feel like that, I usually paint or pick up a hammer and build something. <laughs> oh man. There's this is a big house. Right, I left the sheet music here. I wish I could read these and understand every detail like mom does. Actually, you know what? A little practice might get me going. Yeah, use your hands. Oh. Well. I've been playing for a long time, so I'm just gonna stop it right here. This game is getting really emotional, but I like it, and I hope you guys do too. Uh, don't forget to comment and stuff, because that really makes me happy, and it shows that you like to watch this game and like to stick around, I guess. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye!